tumefika kwa studio yetu wacha tumjue mgeni wetu zaidi atuambie ni yeye ni nani na tupate maneno zaidi kumhusu yeye mwenyewe so karibu sana mgeni wetu tuambie wewe unaitwa nani na umetoka wapi so mimi naitwa Chege Esther ama mother of one wow. a daughter um I'm a daughter still mm -hmm. two parents mm -hmm. I have three siblings we are four in our family a sister a brother me then a brother I'm the third one yes so umetuambia wewe ni mzazi na wewe ni bibi ya mtu lakini bado unasoma tuambie masomo yako ilianza wapi na lini yeah so mwanzo nimesahau kukuambia I'm 29 years of age Uh, I started school at uh, Hospital Hill Primary School in Nairobi. Hapo mm nikaenda -hmm. mpaka class 5, then nika transfer to Waka Academy now known as Y W Y E Win Your Excellence or something. Then nikaenda the Mirikiki Girls High School. I completed my KCSE. Then from there nilimaliza 2010. Then from there I joined KU where I pursued a degree in education uh -huh. uh, English and literature of both I'm a combination yeah but unfortunately siku maliza uh, different issues but I was in fourth year yes fourth year no come out to quit I did quit uh -huh. story of another thing okay nasa kwa nini ukaamua kuchoose journalism Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, 2015 was my final year. Mm -hmm. So, kiona hiyo the gap between 2015 and now that's about six years. So, ilikuwa ndo na yes, nafanya kitu inanipea pesa but si feel fulfilled. You know, and uh, again, nilikuwa naenda KU kujaribu maybe ku to get done with whatever I was doing then I got frustrated, <laughs> which I'm saying it's part of a longer story. But now nikasema since now I have a baby and nikwa sha join shule. So I was looking at a practical place that I nezaenda nifanya and journalism really has been my passion. Actually I had three passions when I was in high school and actually my teachers in high school were advising me that I could be either a lawyer or a teacher or a journalist. So for me sasa nimepotea mwelekeo. It is just something that I wanted to do. So vile niliona needs and and, and I really like needs. Because I used to hear about it kutoka kitambo, only that I was in KU so singeza kuja hapa. So when, and I stay in Kimbo, yeah? So nikaona, ah, nibs iko hapa, my daughter is schooling in Kimbo because I live in Kimbo. So nikaona, pia in terms of fair, hiu itani safe because it's a walking distance. Yeah, so nibs was my only option, by the way, at that time. So I consulted with my mom. Yeah, of course, unajua lazima uombe advice here and there. I asked a few friends here and there. Of course, there were many so many watu wataki ni ujishule and let to for us because again, I'm advanced in age. I don't compare. So, nikasema tu hapana. Let me prove everybody wrong and prove myself right. But I knew I wanted to do journalism. Wow. So that's why I was headstrong. Niliamua. Nikikuja nips. It's just journalism. So, ata vile nilikuja uku kuinquire. I just came and asked how much is journalism? What do I need? Wakaniambia, you need to start on Monday. Ah. So, umetuambia ulipata mtoto. Uyu mtoto, needs, umetuambia needs, umetuambia we ni mzazi. Uyu mtoto ulipata nini? Were you scared when ulipata uyu mtoto? Ama reaction ya wazazi wako ilikuwa gani? How old were you? Nitasema hivi, I got my child when I was 25 years old, back in 2017. So I was an adult, but sick was stable. So of course, I was the first person to be scared. I love it was not planned. Since I was married, I was married, I was ready to get a child. So I was able to get a child. I was very scared actually. I had really contemplated so many things. Na nilikuwa nime structure life yangu in a certain way. So vile nilipata huu mtoto, I had to rethink so many issues. So I told my mom later, later kabisa, kabisa towards the end. I I told my mom then she told my dad. 
which need to words. Kabisa kabisa because I was like, how am I supposed? To? I know I'm an adult, yeah. only 25, mm -hmm. but you know you're not stable. Mzazi will fear for you. At a feel no, you're not ready to to maybe raise a kid. Yeah. Those were some of my worries. But pia sitaka pressure mzazi kuti kona miba. Taki stress mingi. And when I told Baba Mtoto, I got badly. So I was like, ah, so at least. So, so Baba Mtoto Ako? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's nice. Is he a frank artist? Oh. Yes. So, I told Baba Mtoto Ako, I was a little bit of 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 a First, it was very difficult. Okay, what I call the yako? Yes, yeah. we are together, happy, mm -hmm. great relationship, mm -hmm. and I thank God. Nini, Donya mo kurudi shule. Mwanzo it wasn't easy for me because I was defying everything and everybody. My parents were skeptical. Pia ya ni kuwa skeptical because I ni kuwa like sasa na kurudi shule. We have a child already in school. Sinuka mimi tutoka kwa shule sasa opp one. Yeah. She's four. So. And a new Lisa, oh, I'm told to be a little bit of a And the other one said, stable in terms of finances. So his worry was, will he be able to sustain us? You know, Jesus and I want to go I want to go full time to school because I'm not going to be regular. I'm not going to be classes at journalism because I inquired. So I said, imagine, let's trust in God. Because I really felt I was stagnant. My life was stagnant. So many come on, let's trust him. It was very difficult. I'm, I'm not even sure up to date he's happy about me coming back to school, but he lives with it. He supports me. He's okay with it because even my friends are born and when I need discourage Sana. But now when I give them my results, so I feel like your chief never saw. It was a good idea you went back to school. But yeah, yeah. He's just comfortable with the idea because again, every time the final results, number results, I don't know, okay, but maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. But of course, I know it, it's it's strenuous to him, especially finance, finance side. Yeah. Oh, and when you do Apple, we salute you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I now understand that you are a parent, and at the same time, when you say, how do you manage? Student. Oh. It's a challenge. Because I'm going to PP1. Classes in Anza 8. I'm going to go to PP8 8. So in a BD, I wake up my baby mapema. Mapema no. I'm going to take care of it. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to arrive in class. Because I'm going to take care of it. So the balance, it's really difficult. Sometimes, to natoka shule 5.15. Nikitoka hapa, nitapika kwa nyumba 6. Mtoto wa maliza shule 3. So, hiyo kitu, ata nikitu wa class, sometimes I'm like, oh my God. Mtoto wangu wa mebaki shule peke hake. Because sometimes, na wapitanga wakua tu wa uvili. So you can imagine three hours, mtoto tu, amegoja mamake, and nowadays, you can't trust just anybody. And then, mtoto wako. So, there has been many, many challenges. Finances still, because remember I was making money, now I am not. So na take me babam toto, because again we are adults. I'm 29, he's of a certain age. So na patata kupigia mamangu simu sometimes. Man, it's it's impossible, no na. So na pata, ile pesa kidogo konayo, unajaribu kuigawanisha haigawaniki. Mtoto ndo huyo CBC, CBC, has a lot yeah. from you. Unenda nyumbani, I'm supposed to cook, I'm supposed to wash. If we was it, I maintain the household. Ni, ni itayarisha mtoto afanya homework, I make sure ako kisawa. Kama ni CBC, we have to do it. So unapata, I really strain a lot. But I thank God for this part because it's very serious. It's not easy. Thank you. Yeah, I need it. Seriously. <laughs> And again, what are the challenges that you face in your day-to-day -day life? Where do I begin? Hey, model. Where do I begin? Uh -huh. I will start with the obvious finances. Um, it's very difficult, to be honest. I, I actually don't like thinking about it. So funny, Christian God. 
uh, I will say if I get help, napatanga, but napata sometimes I have to really, really struggle. But I thank God. So fast, ja pata stress. Yeah, and uh, my mom has come through for me in so many ways, and my family, let's say, in general, and of course, Babam Toto is really, really helpful because sometimes at a lunch, you need by here, so I'm happy. Another challenge in class. I believe wale wale muwana to funza, if they are not in my age group, our janiacha sana. So unapata hu mwalimu, ana assume sisi wata ni teenagers. So vile ana kuriprimand, it's like you're a teenager, aki like una feel, nijibu tu hu mwalimu, but then you're like, ah ah. Unajua pia, I should respect the ground they are on. They are my lecturers, I'm a student. It's my choice to kukuja back. So, you have balance, kutrekun, ata wengine I believe I'm older than them. So unapata, iyo kusikiza umu walimu wakiku lecture for almost 30 minutes, you're like, ah, you guys. Unasema tu wachatu ni meze, because I should respect the authority they possess. Another challenge, of course, interacting with the students, the teenagers. Kuna vitu wanasema, and say ni genge tu. So luga zenye wanoongea mwanzo, it's like a generational gap kabisa. Because wengine ni wachana 10 years. Imagine 10 years. And, and others more. Yeah. So unapata mtu kitu wana kuambia, ama vile na behave, I'm feeling like, guy, ukajua maisha si hivo. But, uh, I try to understand, because pia mimi ya was a teenager once. So unapata, it's very difficult to socialize with them. The activities wana taka, season ya mina taka. Sahi ya wauni haja masomo, and when I try to explain to them that my life would have been better, ni kama hawa party. Get? So, Getting that understanding from them, we all could understand where I am. It's yeah. it's a very big challenge. I, I think those are my major ones. But yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, but I thank God. Yeah. Oh wow! So do you have a side hustle? Am I do school time full? Since somebody could a side hustle as far now, though, do sometimes I really need money? I cook. Yeah, so niki pata mtu. I was telling a friend that me when I pick a chakuka hotel, you will get time. Kama sina class ya eight. Me when I pick a chakuka hotel, I nalipo kenye nalipo, and then I come to school. So, since summer, I have a permanent side hustle. But when I get a chance, kama tuko na break ya three hours, I go do whatever it is that I have to do. Kama sina assignment. Wow. Yeah. And how are you doing in your studies? So far, mm -hmm. I thank God. Sija bad, sija fail. Exam yote so far, but pia yu pia ni challenge ina kusoma. I don't have the time, but I thank God because I do attend my classes well religiously. Na niki miss, but then yu pia ni challenge ina because sometimes niko na meeting chule yam toto. Sasa uta uta miss classes ngapi? Then mtoto ni mgonjo, ni mgonjo asana. Yes, we miss kuya kwa tamani mwanereo. So ina bidu mtoto ni mpeleke chule kwa bado mgonjo kabisa. I can't miss throughout. So I'm like, where is the balance? Yeah. So thankfully, I'm, I'm performing very well. Thanks to God. Well, honestly, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And now since our work in the Unasoma and Awao, they are younger than you, how do you interact with them? I'm a free spirit. I'm going to say that I'm a teenager. I'm going to say that I'm a teenager. I have to do teenage things, but I have to dress like a teenager. I have to dress like a teenager. And nowadays, I have to know that you are older than anybody. So I think when I assume that I am just a teenager who is bigger. So I have to understand. And then I am very jovial and I thank God that I have a young spirit at heart. I would assume that's my character. And I love hanging out with young people because they really, honestly, work on a bit of poor as a good one beer, and you can really gain a lot from them. And again, I love working with young people. I like talking to them, interacting with them. And if na fit, come and let's say they're doing an activity and you're not fit, nezafanya, like playing some games, I will do it. I mean, Nico Shule, wow. population who want to teenagers, I think the oldest is 22. Yeah. So, na pata, you, you have to join them. Yeah, if you can't beat them, you have to join them. What name do you like to be called in Tilat? 
I thank God. Nelewa pia but cheya machenge. That is my name to God. Again, fitting means that he could do his best with a part of the fish. So, sir, in a pair, as in what advice can you give to someone who is outside there when he maybe a little shule, a kapata mtoto, a kapata bond, so how na like it's the end of her. In a more advice, a little shule, like, yeah. What advice? Would you give to these young people, most especially Wasjana? Me neither say ma. Kuna mistakes avoidable. Niguze tu kidogo iyo yangu ya kendi. If you start something, just complete it. I say I don't regret in life. That is the mantra. Me wish na I wish ma start regret because iki tu mecha happen, mecha happen. But instead ya ufike yoko ija ku regret. Why don't you do the right thing? the right time, yeah? I am a very bright student, that one I know. But unapata uhu katikati, ineza kuwa tasifo ujako, but try kabisa kupingana na easy obstacles, because they will come. Again, pia trust in God, just pray. Then, pregnancy is not the end of the world. Kuna watu wengu wacha shule, because atu wamepata God. But I would advise, stay clear from boys, I'm a man. Because imagine, he attended an amasomo yake. Where would you have done As much as that was not my case, because me didn't want to talk from that environment. Yeah. Yeah. We were a teenager. What are you doing in bed with a man? You know. So first concentrate na kenyaki mukuleta shule. And since I'm in this position, nezataka ni tumi kaka ma voice. You are advice. Yeah. In total, see mandazi atutakula kesho by the way. Yeah. Aki kuchokesha. Unajua amu tatupa iki arivika. Uni mtu mwenye anakling on you hapa every morning na she expects mom to be okay. She expects mom nikimuitaji ako hapo. Unajua sometimes ambulizanga, wewe unajua mama ako yu choka. And then she's like, aki mom so tachoka aji. Sini ni mtoto ako. And then I'm like, yeah, makes, you know, makes sense. So mine za seme, usijie kele majuku mienye utaweza. Uu mtoto ni permanent. And because there's time for everything, just maximize on what you have right now. At least I have tried that with my class. So many people who are in school because I really keep them in check. Mr. Taki kuskia tuko na wewe marubu, then umevata mimbo umeacha maso. I know how that feels like. I know how that looks like. Na siyezi itaka wuki fika 29, ndi unanza kukubi shule. It's stress. Trust me, it is stress. So mine zambia wasichana wuko inje. Girls, especially girls, please love yourself. Love yourself. Sex itakuja na itaisha. Pesa itakuja na itaisha wenye wanaendea ma sponsors. Watu wanawana. Why don't you protect yourself? Protect your family. Kuja tu ufanya kitu mekuleta? Nibs. Soma. Watoto utapata bada. Actually utapata wengi utachoka. Kuzika mi say yes, I have a kid. If I wanted to have another one, I would. But say I'm focusing on my studies. But I'm old. Wewe ni miyang, use that energy that you have. Iyo memory uneza pata sayi, because memory yako na yangu ni tofauti. You, you can really build on your memory. So utilize that advantage. Usome, ushike. Yeah? It is a shame, when ni miyang, unashundo na mtoko dhati kwa class. Na hauna majuku miyoyote. Unajua, so me, if, if tuneza shika na tumukono hivi, tubebane kama wasichana, female empowerment, I think we can really go far. Also pray, pray, pray. I always tell people, pray. Pray over your life, pray over your parents, pray over your kid if you have one. And of course, if you have it's not the end of the world. Yeah? If you have a child, you will be happy. Yeah, so if you have a child, you will that's the end of life. You can always come back to school. You can always study if you have a child. Yeah, the many are limitless, the options. But, you know, let's protect. I would say protect. Guard your heart, guard your space, guard your mind, and everything else. And fear study. Skiza tu wali. Actually, who could see Kali KU for years? Two years. No, me achala na wala wali muna zama wiku wana kusumbua. Because that is how teenagers are. Kuna na kuna sumbulio na wali. But imagine it's just eight terms. Then, kuna ito unafanya kenya unataka. Skiza tu wali. Because, ata mini kwa ulizwa sezi taka hizo rules. Unajua. Because, mwalimu wa meniongilesha vibaya. Then, I'm imagining. Mtoto wangu wakasikia mwalimu wa meniongilesha hivyo. Hanezafi ilaje. 
Yeah. Then mimi naimagine mwalimu mimi ni mzee kumliko. Mm-hmm. Then ameniongelesha hivyo. I really have to swallow my pride yeah. to be honest. So swallow your pride au kwa kuku kufurahisha mtu, mungu hakuna mama mama yako, sorry. Hakuna mama yako, hakuna baba yako. Unajua? So respect authority ndivyo tunaweza. Oh. Wow, thank you so much Jay for your time. Angalia hii hi camera, kuambia watu wasisahau ku subscribe to Frank Zanu Mwanja YouTube channel. Yes. Thank you. Nikwa nimengoja hapo. Uh-huh. Guys, kama uko hapo unatusikiza kindly subscribe kwa huyu kijana. Hii YouTube yake Frank Zanu Mwanja. Kindly tujitume, enda tu subscribe hapo. He's really doing great. Usiachwe na hii train by the way. Ina songa ikisonga. Yes, peace. And thank you so much guys for staying tuned. Director wangu leo alikuwa Frank Zanu Mwanja. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to Frank Zanu Mwanja YouTube channel. And until we meet next time, bye-bye.